Hi, we're going to do a histogram now uh, with our frequency distribution. This is a frequency distribution that I constructed in the previous two videos. If you haven't watched them, you may want to go back and look at them. Um, and I just simply pulled some parts of it that I need to construct this graph, um, which is mostly our class boundaries and our frequency. Um, and I got the the histogram kind of started up here with a coordinate plane. I'm going to go ahead and label this, this coordinate plane. Um, a histogram is a bar graph, um, but it's a special type of bar graph in that it has to have vertical bars, never horizontal, and the bars touch. Okay? These are pennies, and they, this is their years of their pennies um, that we collected, um, 40 pennies. And so I'm going to label the horizontal axis with the years, because that's where I'm going to put my class boundaries. And then I will label the vertical axis is the frequency, because the height of the bar represents, represents the frequency of the class. Okay. So I'll label my class boundaries across here. Um, a histogram, once again, the bars touch. So your class boundaries are what you're using um, so that you don't have any space between bars. So my first bar is going to begin at 65.5, it's going to end at 70.5, and then that's where my next bar will begin. So get this labeled. Class boundaries, all the class boundaries. And that's why we need class boundaries, is for our histogram, labeling it like this. Okay, so we're just going to construct a vertical bar graph at this point. Um, I'm counting by twos right here, so I'll label this as two. I'll go ahead and label them all. Okay, so we can see that. So my first bar is going to have a height of one, since that's the frequency of my first class. There's that first bar, and then the second bar is going to begin where the last one left off, so there's no space in between them, and it is between 70 and 70.5, 70 75.5, um, 70.5 and 75.5. The frequency is 3. So there's that bar up to 3. The next one is 4. That bar up to 4. The next one is also 4. Then we have six. Then ten. And finally twelve for our last class. Okay. There's our histogram for this frequency distribution. Histogram's nice, you can see the shape of the graph. Um, and start analyzing the data and talking about it a little more.